What's up guys, my name is Evan, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another episode of the What Players Were on the Field series, and today we're gonna to talk about Devontae Smith of the Philadelphia Eagles. Just in case you guys are new to the series or just need a quick refresher about what we do, we take a player for this episode, it's gonna be Devonta, and we talk about his gear, head to toe, helmets, cleats, gloves, shoulder pads, you name it, we're gonna talk about it in today's video. Now there's a couple different reasons why we chose Devontae Smith for today's episode. First off, he has an incredible cleat game that we just had to showcase here on the channel. And secondly, your guys' comments. There is a ton of comments requesting Devonta Smith, so we had to do it. If there's anybody else you guys want to see featured on the channel, drop their name in the comments below or like somebody else's comment to bring their comment to the top. As always, we're going to kick things off at the top, which means the time to talk about Devonta Smith's helmet. This season, he's been rolling with the Shut F7. Now, he did begin his career with the Eagles with the Riddell Speed Flex, but then quickly switched to the F7. The F7 is the best helmet in Shut's lineup and boasts a 5 out of 5 on the Virginia Tech helmet rating score. The F7 is also one of the lighter options out there, weighing about 4.5 pounds, depending on exactly which model you get. You guys probably know by now, but I've always absolutely loved the look of Shut football helmets and the f7 is my favorite helmet on the market check it out here's mine it's light low profile and the classic shut styling makes it one of my favorite looks for a wide receiver if you guys want to grab yourself a shut f7 shut is selling the new f7 2.0 for 500 bucks also every single thing we talk about in this video will be linked in the description below so you guys can directly shop devonta smith's locker down there now for his face mask he's rolling with the f7 ropo sw nb vc face mask basically all that means is this is a super standard face mask from shut it's a super open face mask with plenty of visibility and also a classic look if you guys want to get the exact same face mask for your f7 the steel one is 70 two bucks and then the titanium one is 200. final piece to devonta's helmet setup is going to be the visor he's been rolling with the oakley legacy visor in their 20 percent tit and he's using unbranded ua visor clips as you guys probably know by now a visor is a great way to get some added protection on your eyes and of course it looks dope just look at devonta the 20 percent is the perfect option for devonta it kind of fits his whole slender batman vibe now if you guys want to get yourself an oakley legacy visor green Gridiron has them in pretty much any color you can imagine but the 20 percent tin one is going to be 65 bucks now we've made it down to the shoulders which means we have to talk about shoulder pads he's rolling with the x tech x2 We've talked about these a ton this year during this series, and that's because they've quickly become the most popular pad in football. They're very lightweight and low profile, which kind of helps Devonta get that nice slender look he's got going on. They also allow for plenty of mobility, which is key for a wide receiver like Devonta. Then he also pairs these shoulder pads with XX rectangular backplate for a little bit more protection. If you guys want to grab the same setup, the XTech X2 shoulder pads are 600, and then the backplate is another 75. Up next, we got to talk about gloves. This season, Devonta Smith has worn three different models of football gloves, and the first pair is the Nike Vaporjet 7.0. He's worn these a few times this season in two different colorways there's a black pair and then a kelly green pair he's worn we talk about the vapor jet 7 all the time but it's pretty much just one of the best gloves in football it's tight fitting has great ball feel and the magic group plus palms are some of the stickiest on the market they are a great glove for any skill guy out there work great for devonta and if anybody wants them dick's boarding goods has them for about 50 bucks the second pair he's worn is a nike vapor jet 6.0 but with a leather palm as you guys know, when it gets rainy out, these guys start to gravitate towards these leather palm gloves because the leather palm gloves work a lot better in the rain than the usual sticky ones. And then obviously the Nike VaporJet 6.0 is the previous version of the 7.0 we just talked about. So it shares a lot of the same characteristics. It fits tight, it has really good ball feel. And then when it has the Mad Grip palms, they're super sticky. Overall, another good glove and a great option for skill guys. Now, if you guys want some of these, I found some floating around on Sports Unlimited for about 40 bucks. Now the final pair of gloves he's worn this season is the pair he's worn the most, the Cutters Rev Pro 5.0. He's worn them in four different colorways we have an all black pair an all white pair an all dark green pair and a kelly green pair the cutters rev pro 5.0 is simply one of the most underrated gloves out there by far cutters have been in the glove game for so long and they are just awesome i love them the mesh back of hand fits tight and the cutter c-tech grip palms are unlike anything else out there the grip is fantastic and the durability of the grip is the best in the game they're just a great glove and i'm surprised we don't see more nfl guys gravitating towards these if you want to grab a pair for yourself cutters has them on their website in a bunch of different colorways for 50 bucks and then amazon's got a couple for a little bit cheaper next up we got to talk about his custom trade decal thigh pads now as you guys know these custom thigh pads have absolutely taken over the nfl and i swear we're talking about them in every single what players wear video they're a very cool trend and such a great way for these guys to express themselves in kind of a subtle manner for devonta he has kyse on one pad and a cross on the other i can't figure out what kyse means but if anybody knows please comment below i'd love to find out but either way these pads are such a cool way for guys to kind of show what they care about on the field if you guys want to check them out and get some for yourself head on over to trade decals website linked in the description now finally it's time to talk about the real heat the cleats. This season, Devonta Smith has worn six different models of football cleats. Let's dive in. The first pair is going to be the Nike Vapor Carbon Fly. He's worn these in some grass games since a detachable plate gives him a little bit more traction than the usual molded plate. But the Nike Vapor Carbon Fly is one of the greatest cleats to ever hit the market. I actually still have a couple pairs for myself. The fact that these dropped all the way back in 2012 and are still sought after and still worn in the NFL in 2024 tells you pretty much all you need to know about these cleats. They're that good. These are from the golden era of Nike football and the carbon fiber traction plate on these is one of the best ever. This plate. 
These are legendary football cleats, but huge props to Devonta Smith for pulling out some old heat like this during the season. Now, if you want to grab a pair of these, good luck. Like I said, these dropped back in 2012, 12 years ago, which is kind of insane. So they're really tough to find now, especially in good condition. But your best bet is going to be to head on over to eBay or just check with some of the cleat resellers over on Instagram. The next pair we're going to talk about is another classic, the Nike Vapor Carbon Fly Elite 2014, also as detachables. And these are pretty special. They appear to be an Oregon Ducks PE. You can tell by that green and chrome colorway. And these are just another iconic pair of cleats from the golden era of Nike football. These are one of the best looking cleats of all time and then also some of the best performance wise. And like I mentioned, these are detachable cleats so they don't have the carbon fiber traction plate that came on these. They have a different detachable plate. Another really dope pair to see on the field. And if you guys wanna grab these, again, try the IG cleat guys or head on over to eBay, see if you get lucky. The next pair is a pair he's worn a bunch this year, the Jordan 1 Low. He's worn these in four different colorways, dark green and white white, white and black, white and silver, and then black and white. And as you guys probably know, these dropped last summer and have become super popular in the NFL. They're a great low cut speed cleat with plenty of snap in that traction plate. They're just a great option for all skill players and have been really good for Devonta Smith. If you guys want to grab a pair of these, there seem to be plenty available out there for 140. You just kind of got to do some digging to find your size. Some of the places that have had them are Foot Locker, Nike, and then of course StockX. The next couple pairs we're going to talk about are Jordan 12s. He's worn them in a white and green colorway and then a black and green colorway as well. Now the white and green pair seems to be an actual PE from Jordan. I can't tell exactly or confirm, but the quality looks too good. It doesn't look like a custom. But the black and green pair on the other hand is a total reconstruction by Coda Customs. Basically they just kind of overlaid the silhouette of a Jordan 12 on top of an existing Nike Vapor cleat. Either way, these are some sweet cleats and some major cleat heat. The next pair is the final pair of Jordans on this list and that's going to be the Jordan 7. Now these are cool because these were originally a Florida Gators Jordan 7 painted green. You can tell if you look at the bottom of the traction plate it's still orange and i know it's a gators pair because the gators are the only orange team to be signed to jordan brand with a pair like these you can really tell devonta smith actually cares about his cleat game which a lot of nfl guys really don't it takes some serious effort to get a team issued pair of jordan pe's or maybe he just got lucky on ebay regardless these are pretty tough to get your hands on now the final pair is a weird pair he wore for week one of this nfl season the under armor spotlight now this just really doesn't make any sense i can't figure out why he wore under armor for the first week of the season and then the whole rest of the season some Nike and Jordan heat. Just doesn't add up. Either way, the spotlights are a solid skill option. And if you want to grab a pair, I think these are an older model of the spotlights. I want to say maybe 2019, 2020. So head on over to eBay. There you guys have it. There's Devontae Smith's game day gear, head to toe. A lot of really cool stuff in there and a pretty insane cleat game. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like the video, comment who you guys want to see us feature next on this series and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE. And thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Footballers.